I was surfing through YouTube today and I found this little game called Everspace that uh, is still in alpha. It is on Steam and I wanted to try it out. It kind of looked cool. Um, and uh, I figured what the hell, might as well make a video of it. Uh, from what I saw, it actually looked kind of interesting. It looked like a combination almost of FTL and uh, what I almost wish Vendetta looked like. Um, in terms of the gameplay and the feel and the graphics so let's see uh, let's see how it works um, I think we're gonna try it third person to start uh, and I'm gonna do well since I'm using the mouse I'm gonna do not inverted I think Oh yeah, I think it's... Pilot requires further training. Activating automatic assistance. Stand by. Uh, uh, assistance? I suppose I could use some pointers. Alright. W forward, S is backward, left, right, up, and down. Why would you need to hover? Oh, I guess it's up. I guess it's up and down. Or go straight up, but how can you go straight down? Ah, control is straight down. Okay. Whoa, okay. Let's begin by shooting targets. Well, that seems easy enough. Whoa, okay. That'd be easy enough if I could actually aim with this shit. Oh, yeah, I think if Vendetta looked like this, I'd never would have stopped playing. Targets have shields. First, use the pulse laser to deplete their shields. When the shields are down, use the Gatling gun to inflict greater hull damage. Uh, okay, understood. Uh, okay. Whoop, where? There we go. And there's another one over here. Yeah, they're about the same distance. How the hell can I tell when their shields down? Whoa. Down ones. Whoa, that's kind of cool. So it's probably tapping one, going down one. Oh, ouch! You little shit ass. Oh, okay, I see. He's got two little bars on him. Those missiles on the next targets. Set a target lock before shooting, so the missiles can home in. Alright, how the hell do I set a target lock? Oh, middle mouse button. Oh! You, there he is. Oops. It appears as if you're ready for the next stage. I have created a jump target. Aim towards it and hold steady to leave the orbit. After each transit, your jump drive requires a cooling down phase. As soon as it is ready for another jump, I will create one. Okay. I guess you automatically spool up when you aim toward it. I guess that's still true from the video I saw earlier today. And this is pretty much, this is very similar to FTL. I mean, when you played FTL, you choose a path you take to get from one end, from the start to the end of the area that you're in. And I guess it takes fuel to travel. Okay, we're going to go there. Select and hit F. Okay. As you can see from your fuel gauge, a substantial amount was consumed during transit. You should aim to refill the jump drive completely. There is a mineable asteroid nearby. Shoot at it to extract fuel. Uh, okay. Um, oh, there's the mineable asteroid, I guess. I'm guessing the fuel must be my upper right indicator? Uh, let's see, how can I... Oh, whoa, holy shit. 
Oh! Ow! Oops. <laughs> that was a boo boo. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, he says, "Heavy damage you may consider boosting out of combat situations." Uh, how do I open the in-game menu? Um. Crap. <laughs> I don't know how to open up the in-game menu. Um. Hmm. Uh, okay, first I have to hit that. Oh, okay, so shooting it against is mining. Life support's definitely uh, falling. Is that the. Yeah, that's it. That should do it. Remaining well provisioned is key to survival in the cluster. Before leaving the orbit, it is recommended you explore the location for resources. To speed things up, use a scanning probe. Okay, let's try it out. Well, before I do that, I'd really love to figure out how the hell to open up. Okay, that's just, just my view. All right. Uh. Four to switch. Okay, I only had a scanning probe, so okay, I'll have to hit C. I have located a container at some distance. You might want to use the energized boost to reach it more quickly, but be careful. Collisions at such a high speed can be fatal. Yeah, I've already figured that one out. Um, Let's see, right, tab three, switch between. Okay, that's that device. Um, I really need to. Uh, that just said sad. I don't even know what the hell the key is. I guess I can start hitting buttons till I find it. Whoa! No! 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 <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> okay. That definitely, uh, that gets your blood pumping there. Um, okay, that is that one. I'm gonna die at this rate. Oh, you can turn it off your HUD, that's cool. Oh, and I just blew another scanner probe. Shit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open it, even though I'm probably going to die on my way there. Um, guess I'll boost. What the hell? Whoa! Man, that boost really sends you flying fast. Ah, resources. And a weapon. But you don't have a free slot to install it. Decide for yourself. Okay, so you got to choose whether you want to equip or salvage it. Ah, tab. Here we go. Uh, life support. Of which I have zero to fix myself. So I'm going to be toast. I might as well go ahead and look at the beam laser. Shield, I'm gonna destroy weaker drones. Shield, fast and reliable weapon, good range. Da, 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 da. That one's kinda got a nice range compared to that. Hmm. I'm gonna keep the pulse laser for now. I mean, the beam laser looks kind of cool, but I've never been good with just beams shooting out and trying to hold it on target. So I'll salvage it. Resources are essential for crafting and upgrading your equipment. It appears, however, that we have exhausted our possibilities here. I suggest advancing to the next location. Oops, there we go. Yeah. I'd really love to, uh, 
advance to a place where I can fix myself before I die. Okay. Oh boy. Outlaws. Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clones. Whoa. Okay, so there's an energy bar below the crosshairs. Smuggling. Maybe Whoa. have something I need. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth a risk. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead long before I uh, get any of this stuff. From no one's fault but my own. Oh, what the heck? Come on, where's the hall enhancer? Whoops. I guess, do I have to hit a button to get it? Oh, yeah. Um. I'm gonna salvage it. Whoa. I think I'd rather have shields. Where was the fuel? I saw fuel. Where the hell did the fuel go? I do not see the fuel. Oh well. Maybe I'll go and kill something else and... Ooh! Okay. I saw a little video that I watched. I saw someone else that you can actually dock with that. I wonder if I can get a repair. Let's go ahead and risk my life to do another turbo boost. I wish I could shut that this off. This is a this service light, station. Uh -huh. Do you know what happens in a service station? I thought I asked the questions here. Do you? Uh. Refuel, trade parts. You're learning. Oh, crap. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um, maybe I can go over here and sell. I don't understand how to trade. Well, I have no money. I have no way of repairing. Oh, well, that's gonna let me repair anyway. Oh. Yeah, now I'm negative money here. That's awesome. I just don't see... I, oh, maybe I wonder if I need to have... If I have two and I need 54. Maybe that's the way it is. And it will let me do it after I have that much. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have to go out and... Um, see if I can... Do it. At least I can breathe now. Of course, I may be a little pissed if I bail on my uh, credit here. Uh, and those GMB dudes, I'm getting a sense of don't mess with them.
Ooh, there's ore. Go ahead and see if I can steal some. Ooh, there's some other ore down there. So you just can't mine any everything. It's kind of nice that they let me buy repairs on credit, even though I don't have any. Okay, I'm not going to mess with GNB stuff. I'm afraid I'll get my ass killed. And I don't have any probes, so I can't look for anything on the rocks to figure out where I might be fortunate to find something. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and turbo jump to another area. I'll let them hunt me down if they want their money. Reach the final location of the sector, fly through the jump gate in order to reach the next se sector. You won't be needing any fuel for the jump. Oh, that's kind of slick. Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector, so yes. Okay, they're fighting dudes over there. Maybe I can get some stuff. Okay, they were fighting somebody, then they killed them. Shit. Ooh, wait, what's that? I see something glowing. Before I go through the jump gate, I want to see what the hell that is. Mineable ore. Hey, that might be able to pay off my debt yet. You have extracted raw materials. These are essential for crafting and upgrading, but you will require much more. It all. Yeah, I guess I must have. I'm pulling the shit out of this asteroid and nothing else is coming. Okay. How much? Uh, I got 22 ore. Still quite a bit low from what they demanded. See anything else glowing, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Alright, let's see what happens. interesting it is um, like FTL in terms of needing to conserve fuel. You've reached the next sector. Very good. What's my objective? Reaching your destination. And where is that? It's still a long way to go. You will understand more when we get there. Yeah. I would prefer more substance to your answers. Yeah, I definitely would prefer more substance to my answer to uh, the answers of the computer. Of course, uh, Beggars can't be choosers, and since I'm gonna That's die, just what I need. I'm going to work on dying spectacularly. What am I picking up on the broadcast channel here? The Okar are a reptilian race with a tendency towards reactive behavior. They are indigenous to the cluster, and the colonials uninvited guests. Hello. Distrust runs deep.
Yeah, no shit. A key ship component is damaged. It is recommended you fix it before your next encounter. Oh, if you say too late. so. <laughs> At least it was a awesome explosion. I wonder if you can get different ships. It's possible that, uh... Oh, yeah. Eventually. Ooh. Yeah, I still have negative 800, so... Definitely a fun game for, um... Something that's still an alpha. Uh, a couple little glitches in graphics as I was flying around, but man, it's it's beautiful compared to like Vendetta Online. Um, and I swear, if Vendetta looked you know half this good, I probably never would stop playing it. Um, but it's definitely fun. I think I'm gonna try it some more and see if I can get a little better. I uh, I'd say you know you like space sim style, space assault style games or whatever. That's kind of a combination of a variety of classic and modern games uh, I'd say definitely pick it up I mean it's on Steam it's not terribly expensive and although it's still I guess kind of an alpha uh, I definitely have to say for me uh, it's definitely worth the money just to give it a go so I'm gonna stop here um, and see if I can understand how to play the games more before I actually make another video and um, that's it. Have a good night. See you later.